For Super Sports Saturday, RTA will have more than 300 different vehicles running on that day. If you've never ridden on RTA and you're thinking about it, let's check out the RTA experience. The RTA says parking your car, taking the rapid or boarding the bus at one of its 14 park and ride locations is the way to go if you're heading to see the Indians, Browns or Gladiators on Saturday. Riders like Bill Kochkowski, who uses the RTA to see the tribe, gives the RTA a big thumbs up. How would you sell them on it? Well, you're not going to go through traffic. You're going to have free parking. Uh, and you have to worry about getting stopped by the police for any reason on the way back. So why not take the uh, RTA? A lot of people's biggest complaint is waiting on the bus. I don't think it's really that bad. They run them so, so quick. The RTA says plan on an extra half hour getting downtown, but with the huge crowd expected, taking the bus could actually save you time. They probably spend an hour driving around downtown trying to find a parking place. So technically this could be the quicker way to go. Watch the game, enjoy the game. After the game, go for a beer or two and then go back. Life is good. <laughs> <laughs> and Super Sports Saturday is anticipated to be one of RTA's biggest days ever, almost like its busiest day of the year, St. Patrick's Day. And RTA is responding. They'll be prepared to handle the load with an additional four dozen employees.